Here is your latest church news from Tradcat Night. Jesus said, let the children come unto me. And yesterday, Montreal says to their priests, you are prohibited from being alone with the children. Now this comes, of course, as a response to the pedophilia crisis in the church, for those non-Catholic listeners, as I have been saying all along and on the various radio shows I've been invited to, the pedophilia scandal largely comes from the Freemasonic, Satanic cult, Luciferian, and taking it one step further, the Jews are behind that as well. So we have a very sad situation a pilot project known as Responsible Pastoral Ministry scheduled to begin later this year, <clears throat> being reported uh, throughout various uh, Novus Ordo websites. Francois Sarazin, Chancellor of the Montreal Archdiocese, says a pilot project to prevent priests and volunteers working with churches from being alone with children is about protecting victims and protecting the church. The Catholic Church of Montreal plans to bar priests, volunteers, and all those in faith education from being alone with children. What a sad day. St. John Bosco is rolling over in his grave. Francois Sarazin, Chancellor of the Montreal Archdiocese, said a pilot project to begin in 10 churches later this year is a preventative measure and that the church in other provinces, including Ontario, have already implemented similar policies. It's important that the church shows it's making effort and that our society can have confidence in the church and can say they did their homework, now they are credible. Uh, The pilot will involve French-speaking, English-speaking, and parishes from various cultural communities that volunteer to participate and diocesan uh, offices and services as well. Sarah Zinn said it's important to protect not just our children, but all vulnerable people who seek out pastoral care, including the elderly. Now, protecting the church. The measure is part of a policy the Archdiocese uh, is calling, as I mentioned, responsible pastoral ministry. Sarah Zinn said while the church has been rocked in recent years by allegations of uh, sexual abuse of children, those allegations aren't always founded. To give um, you know, a story more important, a child can give an account of an incident that isn't always true, he said. And for that reason, the policy is already in place, but in an unofficial capacity. So here we have, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a sad day, assuredly, uh, for the church again. No doubt the New World Order is using uh, this pedophilia crisis to further put the church to shame. And ultimately, one day, I'm sure there will be mass uh, riots, demonstrations, Occupy movements out in Rome as this particular issue begins to spin out of control. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for all of the latest church news, apostasy news, which correlates with the third secret of Fatima, apostasy infiltration of the Catholic Church. Please subscribe to Tradcat Night. Hit that subscribe button and tell all your uh, friends, family members, those in your churches to do so as well. I'll keep you up to date as we get closer to the implementation of the formal New Age religion. And so it's vital to stay on top of this. For all the latest videos, news, information, radio shows, whether I do them solo or with special guests, which come out virtually every day, be sure to hit that subscribe button. While I'm mentioning it, for those preppers out there, those survivalists, get to my good friends. Uh, Mr. Gagne's website, a traditionalist, supports the resistance. FatimaFoods.ThriveLife.com. Be sure to get there for all of the latest non-GMO, uh, anti-Monsanto food. Great lineup for you to choose from there. I remind everyone, this is a 
Catholic page. This is not a Protestant page. There's no trolling or anti-Catholic commentaries. There's a zero tolerance policy on that. Visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com. We are by far the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website worldwide, ranked by Alexa now as a top 40,000 website. Along that right-hand side of the blog spot, you can find a plethora of information. The new poll question is up. Please be sure to participate. Almost a 1,000 already have. The Tradcat Night blog archive, you can spend days, weeks there. Almost 3,500, if not more, blogs for you to choose from. Visit our sister site, orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. For those of you who have news tips, videos, your own blogs or articles, with the latest information coming from your particular area of the world, send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. I try to keep information moving. And be assured and reminded that Our Lady said at Fatima, the triumph of her immaculate heart will commence. So as eagles, we have to spread our wings in faith and hope. She said to stay close to her in terms of the devotion to the Immaculate Heart. Make sure you're wearing your scapular. Make sure you're praying the rosary. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.